So we arrived in Luca and it's so cute, it's absolutely gorgeous. First impression couldn't have been better. Yes, we absolutely love it. But we you know we were in a rush because we need to find a camping for tonight. We don't have a place and we need to have a bath. So let's go. Yes. Okay. We arrived in Luca and rested for the day. We spent the next day exploring the town and went back to the camping for our last night before leaving to Firenze. So here we are in Luca on our last day. We're about to head towards Florence. And how did you find Luca, Chi? Luca is, it's, was such a good surprise. I mean, we heard very good things about Luca, but it's the kind of city that when you arrive and you see it, is that's the moment when you realize, wow, it's really charming, it's really nice. It's really unique, like I never seen a city like that here in Italy before. Okay. Nowhere actually, but uh, it's all walled and the city center is so well preserved. So you have those little alleys that you can go through, and very charming restaurants and bars, and very uh, old constructions, museums, churches. What I liked the most is that the wall, um, you know, was made for military purposes back in the days. But then it suddenly lost its military purposes because of the advance of the military strategies. And then they constructed a park on top of the wall. And up to date, you can go around the, the city on top of the wall, which is kind of a park. And you know, there's a cycle path and you can do some jogging, trekking. Because yeah. it's very large. Some, yeah, and there are some places for children to play, you know, and you got a nice view and the sun sets from there is absolutely astonishing. Yeah. So that area of the city around on top of the wall, it's so beautiful. You have more than four kilometers to explore around the city, so it's a really, really nice area. Um, and also it's a it's one of the stops from pilgrimage so it's on the route from the from the via francigena which take it's a road that takes to rome similar to santiago de compostela and people normally stop in luca and to go to the main church to the to the main cathedral where there is a cross where pilgrims um you know the few faithful people uh, go to see it the entrance to the main cathedral, it's right there by the side of it and you gotta pay 3 euros even if you wanna go there just to see the cross. Residents of Lucan province don't pay but you gotta show your ID. So, 3 euros is not too bad. Yeah, the other cool thing is that uh, although there were some people and some tourists, it's not that crowded. So you have a feeling that is even more original. I don't know if it's because we are in the low season but uh, it's not super crowded. Yeah, but we did see lots of locals. We, we met lots of locals, so there is a local life and even the nightlife yeah. is quite lively, you know, and the price is not too exorbitant, it's not very high. And according to us, it's because there is a local life, so they don't have to put the prices high up. Yeah. We did two aperitivos for like four euros and five euros and both for very nice and it's a day trip from Florence so awesome. if you're going to Florence you have to come to Luca Joe Miss they have yeah. a train station here it's very easy to access so Joe Miss Luca now we are at the Piazza Amphitheatro here and it has its name because it's it's like an amphitheatro and it was built on top of a former Roman amphitheatro so you see it's all like all surrounded and now it has all these restaurants and all these places and at this time 
it, it's pretty cool to come at night. Right, so we are leaving Luca now, and uh, it's a bit late. We were meant to leave earlier, but we had to finish some work, so it's fine. The problem that it's about 1 p.m., 1:30 p.m., and the sun it's it's boiling hot on top of our heads, and uh, it's not the best time to cycle. But you know, with my long vest. So I don't have to put sunscreen, I don't like sunscreen, so I'd rather, I'd rather sweat. Now we're just gonna go around it and carry on to Florence. Should take about six hours if we include our breaks and you know, photo, video, all this kind of stuff that we do along the way. I would say about eight hours. So 1 p.m. with eight, so we should be arriving by 9 p.m., which is a bit too late. So, I think today we slip on the way. Also, we didn't expect we would find on our way there. Mira Emilia! Grazie! Mille Emilia is an open road race in Italy. From 1953 until 1957, the Mille Emilia was a proper championship having Alfa Romeo as the manufacturer with the most wins. After 1977, the race was reborn for classic and vintage cars, limited to cars produced no later than 1957 and also to cars that had attained it or registered to the original race. The route starts and ends in Brescia, crossing through important cities such as Rome, Ferrara, Padova, Verona, Bologna, Parma, Florence, Siena and the Republic of San Marino, completing a route of a thousand miles or 1600 kilometers. Yes, we didn't stay on the way, we didn't have to sleep on the road, we made it to Firenze. Okay, that's us arriving in Firenze. We are about to cross the first entrance. Unbelievable the amount of cycling today, but we made it. We made it to Firenze. Okay, now I just walk the car. And then we are in the historical city center of the Firenze, just cross the gate. Yay! Now I gotta stop. Yes. Antes do Rio, só ver antes do Rio. Oh, my ass. 